Hey folks, Mark Mellon from Solar World. Uh, just trying to keep you guys updated on all the projects that we're doing here. So behind me, you will see three panels. One is the automatic transfer switch. One is the incoming power for 120 volts. This carries the 240. And of course, this is the main incoming uh, line for the house. So basically, we just took a double pole breaker, running it into the reverse side of the generator side instead of the input side. The input side is coming in from the solar, which I'll just show you, or from the uh, off-grid application, which I'll just show you in just a second. Um, out here, we have independently a uh, hybrid system. So this is going to be the 11KW Grow Watt series. This is for grid tie only. Of course, uh, TVEC really wants their meter now put onto their uh, platform, as well as all the other uh, um, code regulations that they're updating. Uh, I think they're trying to compete more with Dallas's... Um, um, layouts so we have the inverter coming in we have power which is pv coming uh from the downward going up into the trend or into the, the the box there uh we have 120 uh l1 and 120 l2 running in with neutral ground into the inverter itself over here uh under the ground roughly about 50 feet away we have Again, just the loop coming in and down and shooting over for the PV array. We have 11 solar panels sitting up on top of the roof here. Uh, so that would be for the MPPT solar controller uh, one, and there's four of them. So we have 11 on chain one, 11 on chain two. Um, again, downward going in, just a little boat dock area, or not boat dock, but anyways, just a little storage area for his boat. Um, so we have a grand total of 11 panels coming in. Number one, chaining over, jumping up, and then shooting out. So they are the uh, 455 watt monocrystalline non bifacial. These are the uh, Canadian Solar or Z and Shine uh, series. All right. Uh, actually, we have one right here. Oh, Solar Ever. Okay, this is the 455 Solar Ever. So this is one extra panel. We like to supply with the, uh, the customer because I'm clumsy as shit and uh, I like to break stuff. So. It's a good sales point. Hey, we'll hook you up with an extra panel, you know, if we survive. <laughs> hey, babies. All right, we'll go ahead and go back here and check out the uh, actual rack on the system. Just give me a second here, should just press pause. Uh, so up on top of the roof, we have grand total of 24 solar panels. Uh, they are ran into a blockchain of eight. So there's eight solar panels per inverter. There's four inverters. There's just enough room to do another row and that's what the main objective is uh, in the future here so let me go ahead and show you what's going on in the inside here all right so here we have 60 kw of life power 4 5.125 kw batteries 100 amp hours a piece there's a grand total of 12 of them uh, this is a two block chain uh, so inverter one and two and then inverter three and four uh, the way that the wiring is ran into so again one and two as it clearly states all the labeling disconnects all that stuff's up to code don't worry about this this is don't worry about that it's just wire it's extra stuff um so we have inverter one two and three which is basically running on the blockchain of eight uh panels each like as previously discussed i do have one extra one here there's four this is for a reason we can give them the 20 uh, uh, kW power output. They're not consuming that. So I would, I'm basically waiting for another eight more solar panels to hook up to him. Then uh, we can have this all in conjunction. But until then, he's basically just there in case one of these fail. We have a backup so I can get them online within just a few minutes. Uh, so we have our power output right here for uh, transformer one and two to make 10,000 watts, uh, uh, inverter one, two, three, and four. And then we have the main uh, uh, transfer power going um, out there. So we do have a DC disconnect coming in from the PV array, as you can tell, one, two, three, four, pretty simple overall. We're only pulling about 5% on idle right here. He's floating between one and 5% and, and one and 5%. So. This is the slave inverter. I like to put things in the center or all the way to the left when I'm doing these series. So it, again, this may be one, two, as it clearly states, three and uh, four, but try to put the incoming power to the closest inverter in the center as much as possible. It just helps with balancing and discharging. So what that means is if this wire were all the way to the other side, 
it would have to pulse one, two, three, four, communicate to make sure that these were all four in communication, syncing and um, transferring power, which is no big deal. I just like to keep things in the, uh, the KISS theory. So other than that, we have main power, transfer, 120 loads. Off-grid applications running all 240 and the 120. The only thing that we aren't running is that shop over there yet and the, uh, the air conditioner. That's it. So I'm just waiting to get the numbers back. Within a month or so, I'll go ahead and put their air conditioner uh, offline. And if that holds up well, then I'll go ahead and run their secondary building that they have in the background off-grid. And we just work our way to their limits. I don't know what their power consumption is. It seems like it's pretty decent. Um, but then there's some customers that just like overly consume and they just don't realize it until, you know, the batteries crash. Well, it makes me look bad when the batteries crash when it's their fault, right? So we tried to tune the system down to our specifications and what we see and, and what they want. Try to meet them in the middle. Let them understand that we will be adding more switches off-grid the better they do. So, other than that, folks. We are out of here. Another satisfied customer. All right, folks. God bless. I will keep you updated on eventually a complete wiring diagram. I took the EG4 series 6KW off the wall here. I didn't particularly like how they were working. So we made sure to upgrade them to the uh, 5KW Grow Watt. Uh, the EG4 platform would have been great. I just didn't have the experience uh, or, or software to keep things in a good working order. So we went back to our roots and went back to the Grow Watt and uh, everything will be running fantastic. All right, folks, until then, God bless.